Hey guys, this is Joey. I just want to touch base with you about formatting song lyrics. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so you come in on Sunday and let's say that your song lyrics look a little squarish. Now, this is what we have um, for this Sunday. It's a new song we added called Thank You, Lord. And uh, for whatever reason, it was imported as uh, a four by three aspect ratio when our songs are supposed to be 16 by nine, which you can see is a rectangle shape. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to quickly fix this. We're gonna go and first we're gonna click on this uh, little error button. It's saying that the document size does not match the output resolution. So we're simply gonna click on that and we're gonna click resize and it's gonna resize it to our output, which is 720p. There we go. Now we're gonna apply a template to it. So I'm gonna click on that first slide and then I'm gonna go over to my templates. And I like, there's a lot of different worship templates, but if you want to match um, currently uh, what we're using this video may be dated by the time you're watching this but currently we're using worship uh, two black bars uh, version 3 so whoops I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go over to the left and I'm gonna click it there we go it resizes everything we're gonna do have some, we're gonna have to do some funky editing though because this particular um, setting does not it has smaller text boxes so it's not showing as you can see all the text so in this particular uh, template. It's only uh, designed to have two uh, lines per slide. So two lines of text per slide. And you can see that this one has four. And if I just kind of click out that text box, um, not all of them fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, right after this uh, second line here. We're going to hold down the option button on the keyboard and press enter. What that does is it split you saw it, it split the slide into two slides. And um, if I highlight all of this, you can see there's actually multiple objects here. And let me go to my objects button, um, which is right here. And you can see that there's three objects here. There's the text, there's box one and box two. And the boxes are those black boxes we have behind the text. They look like long rectangles that help separate it from the background. So all you wanna do is you just wanna press enter and then that will uh, get the text uh, where it's directly behind uh, the background. So I'll show you how to do that for everything. Let me go ahead and fix these real quick. There we go. Boop. Boop. This is exciting, I'm sure. You're just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. He's so good at this. I know you're thinking that. It's fine. All right, there we go. So now that looks better. Um, and what we're going to do, let's just test it with a little background here. I'm going to go over, let me just add a background really quick. I'm going to go to CMG Create, I think. Let's just do this purple background. I like it. Okay, and that revealed our two object boxes that are behind the text. So if we kind of progress, you can see how that helps separate it from the background. And we're also going to make sure as we're going along that we don't see any weird alignment that we need to go in and fix. Everything looks correct. However, I don't want boxes on that first slide. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to click on that slide. I'm just going to select it all and then hit the delete button on my keyboard. Okay. I also want a slide at the very end. So let me hit control V to get rid of my video image bin so I can see more content here. I want a slide at the very end. So I'm going to hit this plus symbol. It's going to automatically add a slide. I don't want it to be part of the course. Uh, grouping, so I'm going to select none. I'm also going to want to label it with a slide label that says clear, uh, clear copy, copyright info. All right, and I'm going to press OK. Now it says it, and I want to add some text transitions. So I'm going to click and hold my. Actually, I'm going to on my keyboard hold the command button down. And then I'm going to click on these first two slides and also this last slide because I want to add a text transition so that when it um, transitions, uh, when I go from here to here, it has a nice little smooth transition and then it kind of just has a quicker transition until the end and then it gently fades out. Now this new text, this new uh, slide I created has the template applied to it as well and it's created these boxes. So I want to go back into my editor. I want to delete that. I can hit the show button to preview this slide and we see that those little um, object boxes went away. That's looking pretty good. Um, I also want to apply a uh, fade to this um, background. So I'm going to right click on the slide, hit media properties here with my left, with the left click. 
and then I'm going to hit dissolve and set it to five seconds and now let's clear everything and let's double check that it worked boom look at that slow five second fade in and we go to the font to the text and double check and make sure everything's aligned correctly thing looks good great all right thanks guys